Med History Porphyria is a rare genetic disease that gave rise to the myth of vampires slash, fear of light, aversion to garlic, and a secretive lifestyle. For centuries, these signs have been the sure signs of a vampire. However, modern medicine knows that medieval superstitions hit a real genetic disease, porphyria. What is this disease? How often does it occur among people? How did it give rise to the myth of vampires? And which of the famous historical figures suffered from porphyria? Porphyria is a group of rare hereditary diseases associated with impaired production of heme pigment. This leads to an accumulation of porphyrins, chemical compounds in the body, which can cause various symptoms such as skin rashes, abdominal pain, nervous disorders, and other problems. Porphyria are divided into several types depending on the specific affected gene and the symptoms they cause. Treatment of porphyria usually involves managing symptoms, preventing exacerbations, and minimizing the effects of provoking factors such as stress, certain medications, or alcohol. Metabolic Disorders Porphyria is a disease in which heme synthesis is disrupted. Heme is a key component of hemoglobin involved in the transport of oxygen through the body and the breakdown of free radicals, toxic chemical compounds. Heme is synthesized in large quantities in the liver and bone marrow. The formation of the component goes through eight consecutive stages, each of which is responsible for one specific enzyme. In turn, enzymes are encoded by genes. Classical hereditary porphyria occurs when a gene begins to encode one of the eight responsible enzymes in insufficient quantities. As a result, porphyrins accumulate in the body intermediate products of the synthesis of the aforementioned heme. These compounds are toxic and therefore cause a number of unpleasant symptoms. Manifestations of a genetic mutation. Vampire disease can manifest itself suddenly at any point in life, at 5, 10, 20, and even at 40 years old. Sometimes a dormant mutation can be activated by excessive alcohol consumption, heavy metal poisoning, starvation, and infection or other stress to the body. The incidence rate is, according to various estimates, from 2 to 200 cases per 100,000 people. At the same time, there are more such patients in the northern regions of the planet. Defective enzymes can be different. This means that the combination of symptoms and the affected area of the body also differ. Patients complain of abdominal pain, decreased sensitivity throughout the body, stress, bouts of anger, clouding of the mind, hallucinations. Their urine color changes to pink or brown, Beriberi leads to bleeding gums and teeth exposure, and pale skin appears. In severe form, the skin begins to react to sunlight. Porphyrins are photoactive and are able to absorb energy under the influence of ultraviolet light and then release it, thereby damaging cells from the inside. Externally, this manifests itself in ulcers and blackening of the skin. The face, hands, and any other exposed areas of the body are quickly covered with scars and difficult to heal wounds. What does garlic have to do with it? The vegetable contains sulfur, which provokes attacks of porphyria and causes pain. An appointed aspen stake can harm anyone, not just a ghoul. There is another legend associated with vampires, as if they fed on human blood. And she could be true. Porphyria patients are transfused a lot of blood to alleviate their symptoms. Perhaps in the past, sufferers from the disease drank the blood of other people in order to somehow survive and not die. The knowledge of Hippocrates, who described this disease back in 370 BC, did not reach the European peasants. Stories about mysterious creatures perfectly fit into the religious picture of the world and spread all over the world. Porphyria comes from the ancient Greek word which translates as crimson or purple. The Greeks borrowed the term from the Phoenicians. They also extracted purple pigment from shellfish to color clothes. There are at least seven types of porphyria, which differ in severity and symptoms. Hippocrates is considered to be the first to recognize porphyria. Then it was called a blood or liver disease, but the role of pigments was established only in 1871 by a German scientist named Ernst Hoppeseiler. In 1889, Baron Stockwitz described the clinical syndrome precisely as porphyria, and since then, more and more of its forms have been discovered. Based on ancient descriptions of vampires, 
modern scientists have come to the conclusion that vampires were not infernal evil creatures at all, but sick people suffering from porphyria, a rare hereditary disease. Because the symptoms of porphyria are very similar to the descriptions of terrible bloodsuckers, the first to stand up for vampires was the Britton Lee Illis, who published in 1963 a scientific work entitled On Porphyria and the Etiology of Vampires. The human body cannot do without oxygen. Oxygen supply to organs and tissues is provided by blood. Hemoglobin, which is part of red blood cells, binds oxygen molecules and delivers them to cells. Heme, an integral part of hemoglobin, is synthesized in the body, and certain genes are responsible for proper synthesis. Sometimes these genes mutate, and the heme synthesis process is disrupted. Instead of normal heme, intermediate forms are formed, porphyrinogens. Under the influence of ultraviolet light, these substances turn into porphyrins, purple pigments. Porphyrins have the ability to convert ordinary oxygen into active free radicals that destroy cells and tissues. Violation of the heme synthesis process can occur in the liver or in the bone marrow. Therefore, the hepatic and erythropoietic forms of porphyria are distinguished. Both of them are incurable and very dangerous. Mutant genes are inherited in an autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive way. But fortunately, most carriers of the mutant gene, about 80%, are not even aware of their carrier, since the disease does not manifest itself in any way. The incidence rate is influenced by related marriages, which increase the likelihood of a meeting of defective genes. That is why porphyria was common among members of European royal families who for centuries married into a rather narrow circle of their own, equals in nobility of blood. Cynical as it sounds, but a successful adultery could improve the situation, bringing fresh blood into the sluggish veins of the aristocracy that had married among themselves. Some historians believe that this is how porphyria was stopped in the British royal family, where many people suffered from this disease, including the father of the great Queen Victoria, George III. Various factors can make the damaged gene turn on, stress, starvation, hormonal surges in women, taking certain medications, exposure to harmful substances, prolonged exposure to the sun, and a tendency to alcohol abuse. Women are more prone to acute intermittent porphyria, which worsens during hormonal changes. Men are more likely to suffer from late cutaneous porphyria, especially if they are drinkers. Congenital erythropoietic porphyria, also called Gunther's disease, may appear first of all. This is exactly the form that turns a person into the creature described in the ancient chronicles.